Hi friends, good morning. I have provided the payment business analyst training for student and corporate people. In case you would like to join the course, please approach for me at Tamil Business Tech News at the rate of gmail.com. In this video, let us we talk about MT191 request for payment of charges, interest, and other expensive. In case you do the transaction via SIP network, bank should collect some charges, beneath charges, or charges, or salt charges. Okay, how the charge should be collected from the bank side, what method they are using to collect the charges, how it should be debit from this deposit side and beneficiary side. These are all the information I should provide in this PPT. What are the content should be available in my PPT? Purpose of the MT191, scope of the message, type of the charges, simple example flow, how the Benny charges, source charges, and all charges calculation should be happened from the bank end, and uh, mapping details of MT191. These are the details available in my PPT. What is the purpose of MT191? Just whenever you initiate the transaction, you need to pay some kind of charges to the bank. So, how the charges should be collected from the bank side? That you can able to understand via MT191 SIP message. What are the transactions should be processed through the SIP network? Particular charges should be collected from the bank side. That kind of charges information should be elaborately explained for the MT191 message. Request for your payment, interest and other expensive, all the calculation, how it should be happened for the bank end. So the purpose SIP network they are using for the MT191 SIP message. What is the scope of the message? Financial institution to financial institution transaction, payment transaction. How the charges should be collected from one financial institution to another financial institution. In case you transfer the money to ordering institution to beneficiary institution, how the charge calculation should be happen? How the other expensive calculation should be happen? How the charges should be collected from this ordering customer side? How the charges should be collected from the beneficiary side? These are the scope you can able to understand for the MT191 request for payment of charges message. What is the type of charges should be available in SIP network? Benny charges, saw charges and or charges. These three kind of charges should be available in SIP network. What is meant by Benny charges? Whenever you initiate the transaction, whole charges should be paid from the beneficiary side. That charge we called as a Benny charge. Saw charges means up to domestic clearance, ordering customer should pay the charges. After once the fund move to that foreign currency, the beneficiary should pay the charges. The charges should be equally equally split from this Benny side as well as the ordering customer side. That's we called as a sad charges. Or charges means nothing is that that is the ordering customer charges. Whenever you initiate the ch transaction, whole entire charges should be taken care for the ordering customer. These three type of charges is there. Don't forget Benny charges, saw charges, and or charges. Benny charges fully take care of beneficiary side. Shared saw charges, shared charges should be taken care of Benny as well as the ordering customer. Or charges should be taken care of only for the ordering customer. What is the general flow of payment charges? You initiate the transaction via MT101. After what they happen, the transaction should be converted from MT103 or MT202 or 202 cover. Okay. Debtor initiate the transaction after it go to the debtor agent and again intermediate agent, creditor and creditor. Same like that, what is our empty flow? Ordering customer initiate the transaction via MT101 after it's come to the ordering institution. Ordering institution send the prefer the transaction method either MT103 or MT202 or 202 cover. After it's go to that ordering institution to sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, intermediary, account with institution, beneficiary. This is the general flow. Okay. In case you can, how the charges calculation should be happen? Charge calculation should be happen based on the type of charges. Or charges, saw charges, and Benny charges. In case they mentioned the or charges, mean the entire charges should be taken care from the ordering customer. Here, the debtor agent should be taken care. In case they mentioned the Benny charges, means entire charges should be taken care from the beneficiary person, creditor agent. In case they mentioned the share charges, means up to domestic clearance. Up to domestic clearance, a deb, uh, ordering customer should take care after fund move to the foreign currency. The concern foreign uh, beneficiary should be taken. See, this is a direct example flow. Uh, in this example flow, we now need to send 15k AED to Rahul. The charge amount is a 15 AED. What happened? We now have a holding the account in ordering institution SB India. And SB India, the direct relationship with the Citibank UAE. 
Rahul beneficiary hold the account in Citibank UAE. What will happen for this calculation? They both the both the person have a direct relationship. Okay, the charges should be or charges means ordering institution charges means entire charges should be taken from the ordering institution. In case they mention from share penny charges means entire charges need to be taken from the beneficiary Rahul. In case they mention the charge share charges means we know will take care up to domestic clearance. Rahul will take care once the fund is moved to the foreign currency. What are the fields should be available in this MT1, MT191? Field 20, transaction reference number, center reference number, field 21, transaction reference number, 32B, validate currency and code, ordering customer, benefit field, field 52, ordering customer, field 57, beneficiary customer, 71A, charges, field 72, remitted information. These are the fields should be available. We will look on this example flow. See this example. We no need to send 15k AD Rahul. Okay. How much charges for this transaction? 15 AED. What will happen? Three kind of charges should be occur. Already I said that. Or charges, baby charges, and saw charges. What is the happen? We know hold the account with SBA India. Rahul hold the account with Citibank UAE. But these both the bank don't have a direct relationship. So the reason what they happen. The transaction need to be flow from any of the sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, intermediary or account with institution via the transaction need to be settled because both the bank don't have a direct relationship. In this scenario, what will happen? We know inform to that ordering institution, you need to send the 15k to Rahul, Rahul holding the account with Citibank UAE. Ordering institution either prepare the message MT103 MT or 202 or 202 cover. In case MT103 means the transaction and the announcement both should be flowing in single message. In case MT202 cover means transaction should be flow for MT202 cover. Announce, announcement should be happen for MT103. In this scenario, what will happen? First, we will look on this. What is our charges? Ordering customer charges. We know need to send 15k AD. Charges amount is a 15 AD. What will happen? We know go and approach in bank. SB India because we know holding the account in SB India that is ordering institution inform to that I need to send 15k AUD plus 15 AUD charges I would pay for 50,050 AUD this is one method in case we know maintain the separate charge account suppose we know maintain separate charge account means we know have a current account saving account like that same similar kind of we know maintain the separate charge account in this scenario what will happen we know inform to that just debit my account for 50,000 AED. Remaining 15 AED, you should be debit in my charge account. This is my charge account. We know debit account is 987654321. You debit 15,000 AED from this debit account. This is the Vino account. We know maintain the separate charge account. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This charge account, we know have a balance since 1,000 AED. What will happen? You, you, you mind you debit for the 15 AD after you get for the 950 AD is a charge account balance. This is one kind of method. Either we know can able to pay the charges via hand, otherwise we know can able to given the charge account and inform to the debit the particular amount for his charge account. This is one kind of calculation. Next we will look on this. Penny charges. What is the penny charges? Same like that. In case the Rahul Take care of entire charges, okay, 15 AED, okay. We know pass that 50,000 AED to Rahul account. Rahul take care of 15 AED charge account. What will happen? In case the 50,000 AED principal amount, the 50 AED minus should be happen, okay. Rahul account credit should be happen for 49,950 AED. Otherwise, in case the Rahul should be maintained for the separate credit account in their own account. See, Rahul credit account is a 9876543321 okay in this account directly credit should be happen for the 49950 because the charge amount 50 rupees debit should be happen otherwise what they happen Rahul maintain the separate charge account in case Rahul charge account is a 123456789 it's an example or this charge account Rahul have, have a balance in 1000 AED in this particular transaction, we need to debit for the 50 rupees. Okay. Once it's debit should be happened after 950 rupees 
AED amount should be maintained for the ROGUL charge accordingly. Either ROGUL can able to, uh, in case the beneficiary take care of the charges, that amount should be debit for the principal amount or else ROGUL can able to pay the amount via separate charge account. Okay, in this both scenario, you don't have any doubt. In case the SAR charges, what will happen for the SAR charges? What I, what I say that up to domestic clearance, we know will be taken. After fund should be moved to that beneficiary side, Rahul will be taken. In this scenario, what will happen? We know send the money to Rahul. Both the bank, we know bank and Rahul bank don't have a direct relationship. So what will happen? We know approach for the ordering institution SB India, SB India approach for the center correspondent bank ICC Bank India up to ICC Bank India charges should be take care from ordering institution. Once the fund should be clear for the domestic to international foreign currency, it's moved to the receiver correspondent. After receiver correspondent, beneficiary institution charges should be take care from the beneficiary side. Take down this example, 15 AED total charges already said that 50 AED. Okay. In this scenario, what will happen? Or charges, how the order, ordering customer should share the charges, how beneficiary should share the charges, that you can able to understand this calculation. See, 1000 AED plus 25 AED from ordering customer, because the charges should be split up from 25 AED from ordering customer side, 25 AED from beneficiary side. What they happen? 50,000 AED plus 25 AED, 50,000, 25 AED, ordering customer should pay directly to the bank. Otherwise, what they happen? Ordering customer informed to that I have a separate charge account is there just debit the charge account. Two kind of things is there one is ordering customer able to pay the charge amount is via cash on hand otherwise they can able to debit the separate charge account. Ordering institution okay already said that how many parties should be involved we know is ordering customer SB India is ordering institution ICC bank is a center correspondent FAB is a receiver correspondent city bank is a beneficiary institution Rahul is a beneficiary. Okay. In this scenario, what, what will happen? SB India, it's took for 10 AED charges. After it's go to the center correspondent, ICC Bank India, it's took for the 15 AED charges. Total charges 25 AED. That charges should be debit from this ordering institution side. Charges should be differ for the ordering institution or center correspondent side. Because sometimes ordering institution take less charges, center correspondent take high charges. Some scenario ordering institution take high charges, sender correspondent take less charges. But charges should not be split equally based on the ordering institution and sender correspondent relationship. 25,000 AED charges debit should be happen. After what will happen? The fund should be move, moved to that Benny side. Once funds is moved to the Benny side, after will happen? Who are all the party involved from the beneficiary side? Already said that ordering customer is a Vino, ordering institution is a SBA India. Sender correspondence is uh, ICC Bank India. Receiver correspondence is a FAB. Uh, beneficiary institution is a City Bank UAE. Who are all the party involved from the beneficiary side? Receiver correspondent, FAB and beneficiary institution ICC Bank India. In this scenario, what will happen? Beneficiary need to be fair for the 55 AED. 25 AED amount. Okay. What will happen? That is also receiver correspondent FAB should take for, take for 5 AED charges and the creditor agent or beneficiary institution city bank uae take for 20 aed total charges 25 aed need to be paid for ragul either ragul debit their principal amount either ragul pay for cash on hand either ragul pay for separate charge account this is the simple charge calculation what are the fields should be available in mt191 transaction reference number Based on the transaction reference number, you can able to identify the transaction. Send related reference number. In case the one message, one message passed to the another message. Okay. In case one sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, all the parties should be involved. Ordering constitution, ordering customer, uh, sender reference number, it's, co it's called as a related reference number for the sender correspondent. Because one that field should be referred for the field 20. Whenever they mention the related reference number, that field should be referred for the field 20 for the previous bank or previous agent. Currency code amount, simply it's a um, receiving receiver currency code and amount details. Ordering institution, you know who is initiated the transaction, that person we called as ordering institution. 
the format should be different for the a d like that account with institution you know very well who is the final beneficiary or who is that who holding the account with the beneficiary institution that person we call the account with institution field 57 a d details of charges already said that or charges or charges and share charges is there how the calculation should be happen already i will inform that sender to receiver information you can able to identify a sender to receiver general informations next all the classes all the ppt i will tell same thing only e mt to mx equal and field send 20 sender reference number we call the instructing id 21 transaction reference number we call as transaction id 13 c time indication we call as a settlement time indications 23 b bank operation code we call as a uh, in instruction party code in mx message 23 instruction code we call as a instruction for credit agent 32 a validate currency code and amount is a interbank settlement amount is a mx site ordering customer we call as a debtor in mx site ordering institution 52 52 a we call as a debtor agent in mx site ordering in sender correspondent 53 a we call as a instructing agent in mx site 54 a receiver correspondent we call as a instructed agent in mx site intermediate 56 a we call as a intermediate agent Account with institution we called as a creditor agent. 58A beneficiary institution we called as a creditor. 59A beneficiary we called as a creditor. 72 center to receive information we called as a backup, backup file information. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe my channel. Advance New Year and Christmas wishes for all my followers, viewers, and supporters. Thank you so much.